Hi, I'd like to tell you more about our latest innovation today. Building on our leadership in delivering an intelligent approach to hyperparameter optimization, we're really excited to share with you a new solution for managing the modeling pipeline and enabling the emerging practice of machine learning operations. So let's take a test drive of SIGOP model experimentation solution. It empowered my team to reach the best model for a fraud detection problem. And I'd like to show you how we made that happen. I start my work coming to my SIGOP dashboard, where I get to see the progress made in my fraud detection project in collaboration with my team. As I look at that project, the first thing I get to see are the best results, top 10 uh, training runs and experiments that yielded the best results. This helps me see that uh, apparently NextG boost optimization with 20 nestled runs have given me the best F1 score thus far. The nice thing about this view is that as I hover on each and every one of these um, experiments or training runs, it shows me in the graphs below where all the metrics landed on each and every one of these. This is wonderful, but I really would like to understand the analysis behind all of this work. As I click on my analysis page, here I get to see a set of dashboard items that interactively help inform my intuition and understand the progress I made along the way. So the first thing I see here is a parallel coordinates chart to which I'm going to add my F1 score so I can get a better sense of how my experiments converged across my top two metrics. It's very interesting. Underneath, I get to see my metrics and parameters dashboard where there is a lot of information. And the interesting part about it is as I hover over each point, I get to see all the related metrics for that particular experiment. But I'd like to zoom in. And one interactive way of doing so is as I filtered my run stable, I saved a view that helps me look at all the experiments that yielded an AUPRC higher than 85%. If I select that view, it updates my parameters versus metrics dashboard. And as you can see here, only results or experiments that yielded results in the 85% and higher range for the AUPRC are shown here. The cool thing here is I'd like to look at my F1 score. And this point uh, seemed quite interesting. And in hovering over that point, I have the chance to highlight it and it gives me a good idea of all the other metrics that uh, transpired in this particular experiment. This is great. Another thing that I really like about these interactive dashboard is that I can add new items. For example, I can decide I'd like to look at all the deep learning models and their progress, cross checkpoints. So here, every time I hover on a point, you can see it shows me in my metrics and parameters dashboard the corresponding um, metric for that particular experiment. So not only interactive in terms of visualizing the data, but interactive cross dashboard items as well. This is all wonderful, but you may be wondering right now, or what do you need to do to be able to visualize all of your modeling work in this platform? It's really simple. With few lines of code, I was able to call in the SIGOP API and start tracking all my work from the feature analysis step all the way to achieving the best model. In fact, at the model level, I was choosing between an XG boost model architecture and a deep learning model architecture. And in the first XG boost training run, what I get to track in SIGOP is the ability to see its performance across my top metrics as well as the basic information and the metadata associated with this particular training run. And then when I ran the Keras deep learning model, I also get to see the same level of information. In fact, in this particular case, I also have a view of the progress of this training run across checkpoints, as well as its performance across all my metrics and the metadata associated with this training run. This was great and it helped me 
realized that my Curious model didn't perform as well as my XGBoost model. So I decided to proceed with the XGBoost model. And the next thing I've done is I performed a simple SIGOPT grid search on that model. Um, and here as well, I get to see the results on the SIGOPT dashboard. And in this particular case, the metrics have improved. Again, I get a full transcription of this particular optimization experiment. But this made me realize that I could use improving my features so that I can run a much better optimization. So I went back um, iteratively to design new features. Um, and then I conducted another uh, training run for that XGBoost uh, model. And then ultimately performed a advanced SIGOPT optimization. In this particular case, the results were showing me that I truly in, achieved the best outputs with the highest metrics seen thus far. And again, here in this um, XGBoost SIGOPT optimized experiment, I get to uh, improve my results even more and get closer to my best model. So as you can see, with few lines of code, calling the SIGOPT API helped me transcribe a treasure trove of information about my modeling work. And it's always here available to me to revisit, to better understand, um, to progress, and to both uh, explain the decisioning in my progress, but also recall past work and reproduce results. So I hope with this demo, you get a quick idea on how to transcribe your entire modeling pipeline, interactively visualize your results to inform your intuition and explain your progress, and most importantly, reach the best model through collaborative and seamless training and tuning. We hope you join our beta program and reap the benefits that many of our users are raving about. Please see below on how to join our beta community Thank you for listening and speak to you soon.